Hi, welcome to Mom's Lab PH. And this is how I look af uh, three hours after I started my day today. Uh, the reason why I mentioned that is because we will be talking about um, our summer skincare routine. Dahil nasan kaman, if you have acne prone and um, oily skin like me, summer is not our season. And we have to be very um, careful or extra careful about our skin. So that's going to be our topic on this video. Now, if you happen to hear chicken, dog, um, car passing by. It's midday, so hindi ko po siya maiwasan. And this is the only time that I have to film as well, guys. So pagpasensya niya, I'm still working on a better um, audio video for you guys. Um, but for this video, let's get going. I want, I'm want i really excited to share to you this four-step skincare routine. Yeah, four lang naman dapat siya. But I have to add one because I'm trying to address a bad breakout effect right here and right there that left a bad um, mark on my skin. So let's get going with the video. First step of course is cleansing. You have to wash your face with a cleanser in the morning because the skin can still accumulate dirt while we are sleeping. My personal favorite is this Good Morning Gel from Cosrx which has low pH. It's mild and not foamy, no paraben, no perfume. It also has tea tree, which is naturally or antibacterial. So it's very safe for acne prone or sensitive skin. This has been my skincare or this has been my cleanser for years now. Second step is to tone. The toner's purpose is to put back the lost moisture from your face after washing. It is important to choose an alcohol-free, low pH toner if you are acne-prone and have oily skin, like this AHA or BHA toner from Cosrx. Well, it doesn't have to be an AHA or BHA to toner, but this is what I'm using as my skin is prone to whiteheads. Now, um, to tell you more about the AHA and BHA formula, it is an exfoliator which will remove dirt or impurities from the outer part of your skin. So, perfect siya if you have white heads like me. Now, it's not magic. Hindi siya matatanggal agad-agad. But with regular use, your skin can get clearer. Also, one tipid tip um, is to use a good applicator when you're using a much more expensive toner like this. So, I personally use this Airlaid cotton pads from Watson's. Third step is to treat. I don't normally do this or use this, but since I had a bad breakout recently, I had to get something to clarify my skin. Kasi nga, when we're getting older, our skin can no longer um, do the repair that it does before. Kaya naman, pimple marks are much more difficult to fade. So, I'm using this um, The Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. You may have heard of this already and um, saw the promising claims that it has in clarifying your skin. And in all fairness, it did work for me. It helped out on reducing the redness and the, the dark spot that I had after that bad um, pimple or that uh, breakout that I had. Now, it's important that this is being applied appropriately to avoid skin purging and pagbabalat. Do not drop it directly on your face, but instead drop it on your palm, warm up, and pat it on your face. Now that our skin imperfections are addressed, let's move naman to moisturize. Because with all those treatment that's done, you might want to lock it in by applying a moisturizer. Well, this is also essential in avoiding environmental damage. Madami ang hesitant mag-moisturizer kapag mainit kasi malagkit or lalong magiging oily ang skin. And that can happen. So it's important to choose the right type of skin moisturizer. And I personally use this um, Face Republic Sika Gel Moisturizer. The key ingredient of this product is Centella Asiatica, which is soothing, especially that um, our skin is prone to irritants kapag mainit. So this is a perfect moisturizer for you. Well, last step on our skincare routine is to protect by using a sunscreen. So hindi kailangang mag-beach bago gumamit ng sunscreen kasi... The computer is the gadget that we're using. It also has UV rays, which can cause damage to our skin. SPF 50 is already a good amount of sunscreen, lalo na kung hindi ka naman um, exposed to direct sunlight. I use this Bior UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus. This is a water-based sunscreen, so it's lightweight. It has a mild citrus scent. 
Now, they say that this is too dewy for oily skin and the citrus ingredient may cause irritation to those with sensitive skin. Um, it has been working fine for me, but if you're reluctant in using this, um, you can lean towards an acne-prone, friendly, or oily skin-friendly sunscreen like the Face Republic Sun Gel or Celotex Sunscreen. Um, those leaves uh, white cast dough, so if you're having like a photo shoot outside, I won't recommend using that. I hope that um, this video is very informative to you and that you were able to learn a few things on how to take care of your skin. Now, not every mom or not all mothers out there, not all mumshies out there have the capability of setting aside a budget for their skincare. Kaya naman, if you're looking for affordable products to help you out in taking care of your skin, um, you can also watch the uh, through the, the I button above. Um, there's a, the video that I posted before about three-step skincare routine or that video will be featuring to you affordable products that um, you can use to take care of your skin. It's also very summer friendly. Dagdagan mo na lang ng sunscreen and you should be good for this summer. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any question or suggestion. And um, please like and subscribe na din and I will see you all in my next video.